Hello, everyone. This is Shalat Kokar with Accelerate, and this is our demo environment. Uh, and I'm going to walk you through a demo of how Accelerate uses Founda to connect an EMR with Salesforce Health Cloud. So um, here we have our Health Cloud uh, demo environment set up. We have a bunch of referrals, and, and as a general matter of process, from a uh, integration perspective, uh, once the VOB pro the verification of benefit processes have been uh, conducted and a uh, particular practice is ready to take a patient, the typical process is to create that patient to the EMR, which is the first kind of demo that I'm going to show you here. So if I get into this Charles Green's referral here, um, you'll notice this is set up um, as a typical Salesforce Health Cloud referral object. Uh, you know, you've got your patient over here. Uh, you'll notice the patient does not have an EHR ID yet, uh, which of course we're going to bring back. Um, there is the standard kind of diagnosis stuff. So, you know, the, the standard lookups on um, ICD codes uh, are set up. We have the pair set up. Uh, we have the referring provider and these uh, sync back and forth. So we're just going to send them a Salesforce ID. And then on the EMR side, uh, uh, found as able to look up the NPI numbers and connect to the correct records and all that fun stuff. Um, from a process perspective, again, you know, depending on how the providers are actually set up, you may or may not need authorizations. In this case, we do have an authorization that had to go through um, some providers if they have a Medicare and Medicaid uh, process. It may just um, get automatically pushed to the um, EMR. So let's go ahead and click. So what this is going to fundamentally do is call the Founda API, which will then in turn, you know, there's pre-built connectors that Founda has to kind of well, most of the major um, EHRs that are already on the market. Um, what this process is going to do is create that patient and the referral in the EHR and then bring back sync the IDs of the EMR back into Health Cloud and now we're in sync uh, for anything that happens going forward. You should see a message pop up um, here in a second that says, hey, I was able to go create the records on the um, EHR side. So here we go, patient and referral successfully created in the EHR via Founder. Now, if I go back in here, uh, there is no Charles Green here yet. Uh, actually, it was just created by the API. So we should have, oh, there he is. Here's Charles Green. Uh, Charles Green's now has an EHR ID and Charles Green also now. Uh, so we had Dr. Davies as the referring provider there, uh, found us done the NPI lookup. You can kind of see that record over here. And if I go back on my referral and look at Charles Green, I should see, yeah, I see that EHR ID. So, so we went to Founder, uh, Founder did some setup work on the EMR side. We came back uh, with the ID here and then I think uh, depending on um, what the process, you know, what your next step process is, one of the automations that we create here in Salesforce to actually call the patient now to schedule an appointment because, you know, the patient's now been created in the other system. So the kind of automations can be set up, uh, popped up on this side, but this is kind of the core. Uh, of course, there's additional, you know, we can bring back clinical data. Uh, there's appointment data that can be brought, uh, brought back and forth. Uh, but this shows, you know, the process here in the demo, the purpose of this was to just showcase uh, the ease with which the API can be worked uh, across Health Cloud and for the multiple use cases that we can eventually address. Uh, if you have any questions, please reach out. Uh, looking forward to getting some feedback and hopefully doing some implementations. Thank you.